Welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at section 1.5.4, how to find a basis for the solution set of a homogeneous linear system. This was one of the two main ways we had to create subspaces. One was with the span and now with a homogeneous linear system. All right, our goal is pretty straightforward. Given a homogeneous linear system, find a basis for its solution set and hence for the null space of its coefficient matrix. So this method also tells you how to find a basis for the null space. All right, so we'll do an example. Um, we are asked to find a basis for the solution set of this linear homogeneous system. And so the first thing you have to do is solve it. So I'm going to take 3 minus 2 minus 5, 2 minus 1, 2, 7, 3 minus 2. Um, you don't actually need to put the zeros here. They'll just stay zeros. So if you're looking to save a bit on ink or paper, this is a good place to cut. So I'm going to reduce this. I did it ahead of time as usual. This is what I got. The first row is 10301, zero, zero, one. second is 01202, zero, zero, two. and then 0001 zero, 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 one, 0000. And so I end up with two free variables. Let's call this one S and this one T. So C is free and E is free. All right, so if I want to write the solutions in vector form, I'll get that A is minus 3S minus T, um, B is minus 2S minus 2T, and D is just, uh, sorry, forgot C, C is just S, D is equal to T, and E is T as well. And so S multiplies minus 3 minus 2, 1, 0, 0. And T gets multiplied by minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 1. All right, so whenever you solve a system like this, you'll get everything written as a linear combination. And so I claim that the basis for W is this set of two vectors, minus 3, minus 2, 1, 0, 0 and minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 1. All right, first thing is clear. W is the set of all S times the first plus T times the second. And so it's clear that this is the span of my basis. What's not clear at first is that BW is linearly independent. But if you notice, whenever um, the vectors come out of a linear system, you have special columns, the columns corresponding to, to your free variables, uh, sorry, special rows. These are already reduced. And so you will get a, free uh, a leading coefficient in the first column and one in the second column, because if you bring those two to the top, you already have your leading coefficient. All right, so this will always happen. And so let's put it in a method. So in some sense, if it comes from, if your set of generators come from a linear system, for free, you know that they're linearly independent. So you save the step of checking that they're linearly independent. All right, so basis for the solution set of a homogeneous linear system. To find a basis B for a homogeneous linear system or for a null space, you solve the system and write the solution in vector form as x equals s1 v1 plus s2 v2 plus sn vn and b is the set of vector v1 v2 vn
All right, so let me just add a note here. In this case, the set of vector that you get is automatically linearly independent exactly because these special rows exist. All right, so for each vector, you have one row where that vector has a one and every other vector will have a zero. And that's going to help you reduce and show that it's linearly independent.